If you're running your very own business and you find it very hard for you to qualify for a loan because you've been claiming losses over the past few years, you want to stick around for this video because I'm going to tell you about a loan product that might be extremely beneficial for you. So I've worked with a lot of people who own their own businesses and they've come to me and they've found it very hard to qualify that they are probably claiming losses on their tax return. So this is a hindrance to them when they want to finally buy a house. They have the money for a down payment. They make enough on a monthly basis. But when a, when a traditional bank looks at your tax return, they are seeing that you ain't making a damn thing. This is where a loan product called the non-QM loan comes in to play for somebody like you. Now, I'm gonna give you some pros and cons when it comes to this loan product. Pro number one when it comes down to the non-QM loan is you're able to qualify for a house that you weren't qualified for traditionally solely based on your monthly revenue. Now, these non-QM lenders, all they primarily want to see is that over the past couple of years, you've generated business, you have steady monthly income from your business. Now, of course, they are going to check your credit, but they place more emphasis on how much money your business is bringing in and how much money your business is paying you. This is a huge benefit because Traditional lenders, they care about the money that you have coming in, but they place a lot of emphasis on what your tax returns say. The second pro when it comes to the non-QM loan is if you've had recent dings or negative hits to your credit report, they are going to look at that and it's not going to hold as much value as a traditional bank. If you just recently applied for a credit card and a traditional bank sees that, for some weird reason, a bank is going to be like, no, you're too risky. We can't touch it. We can't touch you right now. Even if you have a great credit score, even if you've got a great credit history, that is still a big red flag for a lot of traditional banks versus if you go with a non-QM lender, you can simply explain to them the reason why you applied for credit recently and how it does not affect your business and how it does not affect your monthly cash flow. And the third pro to the non-QM loan is quite simply, they offer a ton of flexible terms. You can actually negotiate with a non-QM lender and say, hey, that doesn't exactly line up with what I'm looking for. Is there flexibility with X? The flexible terms is definitely something that you wanna consider a pro in this situation. All right, now let's move on to the cons. The number one con when it comes to working with non-QM lenders and the non-QM loan is you're typically gonna pay a higher interest rate. Now, this is an incredible product, but it does not come with no cons at all. The, the reason why this product and the, this product is so great is because these non-QM lenders are not placing heavy emphasis on your credit. They're not placing heavy emphasis on your tax returns, if any emphasis on your tax returns at all. So with that, get you have to give a little which means you're going to pay a higher interest rate now this brings me to con number two which is typically you have to be consciously aware of what your taxes are and your real estate agent should be able to help you with that you have to be conscious of what your taxes are on an annual basis and if you want to break it up into fours or if you want to break it up into twos or one whole payment every single year you need to be aware of that because as far as a traditional lender and a traditional mortgage, your property taxes comes out of your mortgage, goes into an escrow account, and that is paid on your behalf. But with the non-QM loan, that's not the case. I want to address in regards to the non-QM loan is the lender fees and all of the fees associated with getting the non-QM loan typically going to be higher than what you'll see from a conventional loan or an FHA or a VA loan. And that's because this product is not so widely available and it is very unorthodox. 
but it is extremely beneficial because you can come to them and say, this is what I'm making over the past two years. You see what I've done monthly. And to me personally, I feel like that's how all the banks should be, but I don't make the, I don't make the damn rules. All right, so there you have it. I've given you pros and cons of the non-QM loan. I absolutely love this product. To me, it just makes sense if you're somebody who runs a business and you've had to take losses over the past couple of years. So if you are a business owner and you're thinking about or ready to buy a house, then please reach out to me. We can talk to you about, we, it's just me. I can talk to you about whether this loan program works best for you. I can connect you with my people who have done this very loan and we can gain an understanding if this is what's best for you. Feel free to like, subscribe, comment. If you disagree, if you if you know about this and you think it's terrible, I wanna hear about it in the comment section, all right? I'll catch y'all on the next one.